taking you to Takrad in the western region for an eye-opening experience. Eggs are nutritious, but did you know that the chalky shell which is discarded has some amazing uses? A young artist and entrepreneur, Lanto Kwame Azmezi in Takradi says, discarded eggshells are a major raw material for his artwork. To him, it is possible to use innovation and creativity to solve the country's challenges with sanitation. You may have heard that an egg a day keeps the doctor away. Health experts and a new study by researchers from the Peking University Health Science Center also tell us that eating eggs reduces your risk of heart disease. But that is not the only good thing about that nutritious little asymmetrical tapered oval. In our part of the world, it is possible to get a fried egg at your local tea cellar and also common to find boiled eggs for sale on the streets with a dash of pepper for an added kick. Also at night, Fast food joints and noodle operators use eggs as major ingredients in their business. But what happens to the shells? This is Madame Beatrice Mensa. She sells noodles in Accra. <laughs> Just as Madame Beatrice Mensa disposes of the shells, many others similarly throw away the shells indiscriminately adding to the country's sanitation challenges. This is Mr. Sefas Nyamalo, owner of Sir B fast food joint in Accra. He has been in the business for the past 15 years and says eggshells are waste. However, for young Takwadi Technical University student and entrepreneur, Lanto Azasime, discarded eggshells are his major raw materials for his artworks. These are displayed on his social media platforms. In a bid to satisfy curiosity, GBC News journeyed to Takrade to meet with this creative artist. It was a five-hour journey to Paipano in Ghana's oil city. This is young Lanto Azasime who sleeps and dreams art and paintings. Lanto is currently a student of the Takrade Technical University pursuing a Bachelor of Technology degree in animation and has qualifications in painting from the university. Lanto is versatile in pencil abstract, landscape and portrait drawings as well as digital paintings. His works address social issues of injustice, peace building, abuse, corruption and other subject matters. The young artist says he draws inspiration from works of Ghana's Abladi Glover, American Jackson Pollock and some of his lectures on campus. With a strong connection and love for the environment and reusing waste, Lanto currently works with discarded eggshells to help reduce waste generated and to improve the country's sanitation situation. I realized that Ghana had a problem when it comes to sanitation. So I went down to identify a material that I can use to create my work. And because my affinity to the eggshell was anecdotally connected to my childhood. For starters, Lanto goes to various refuse sites and handpicks the eggs. His other source of the shells is a watch seller in the community. Lanto says she keeps the shells for him to pick at the end of the working day. His other sources include choba operators, bald egg vendors in traffic and various households. He then takes his raw material home, washes them and leaves them to dry for at least two days. After this process, Lanto then begins work on a particular style of his choice. This is where his creative juices flow on the canvas. <music> He 
across a variety of eye-catching works. Lanto hopes his works will contribute significantly to reducing the country's sanitation challenges. At a point in the community, the eggshells or the excellence excellers will know how to dispose eggshells. They wouldn't just send them to the dustbin or throw them into the gutters, which will go and then bring back to us sicknesses. Lanto says even though he was discouraged initially, he kept focused on his work. For people to come to your space and see eggshells around, for them to see pieces of fabrics around, to see discarded threads and other uh, charcoal and other stuff around, they think, what's happening to this guy? They, <laughs> people think you are going crazy. Mm. Yes, people, people keep saying all sorts of things, but personally, I didn't let the words discourage me. Lanto believes that there is life after death in every creature, and with innovation and creativity, there can be a beautiful life in various waste materials. I believe in the, um, the philosophy that there is life after death. So seeing society sees this to be dead, seeing society sees this waste to be useless, I am trying to give them life in my art piece, which will go forward to be in the spaces of other galleries, will be in the spaces of great men, the president. I'm looking forward to present this to the president and also to other great men. The artist, however, said, Patronage of artworks in general by Ghanaians is low. Ghanaians are into art now, but we have to get to the level where we would also love to buy art. Yes, Ghanaians have now become art lovers, but for art buying, it's very low here in Ghana. It has been two years at this passion for Lanto, which he has themed the Shells Society Rejected. He hopes to host a grand exhibition in 2020. The owner of Lanto's creative concert, he received an award in 2018 for using creative arts and painting to project the good image of Africa at the Ghana Nigeria Achievers Awards. And that's it for my journey. We'll take a quick break.